Well, very pleasant good morning. Another sunrise with Pastor Hayton here. I'm always so happy to share a few minutes with you, and I'd like to share just a few verses of Scripture. The psalmist, of course, gives us a lot of information. I know we get a lot of inspiration from the Psalms, but we also get a lot of information, do we not? And in Psalm 139, beginning at verse 13, we have some information about how God made us. Now, I'm going to read from the Living Bible because it's, it's just a paraphrase, and I like how that reads. But it says, You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit them together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. It is amazing to think about. Your workmanship is marvelous, and how well I know it. You were there while I was being formed in utter seclusion. You saw me before I was born and scheduled each day of my life before I began to breathe. Every day was recorded in your book. Well, I had to think about that as it jumped out at me a little bit. You saw me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, you scheduled each day of my life before I ever saw the light of day. I think about how, you know, if that's really true, and I believe it is because it's in the Bible and the Bible is true, I think about how each day God knows exactly all about us and what we're going through. I think ever, even before I was born, God knew that on January the 21st, 2013, that I was going to experience some sort of frustration throughout the day. And I have had a little frustration today. I have to confess that they started out well with time spent in my study, doing the Monday morning musing and, and enjoying reflecting back on the blessings of the Lord's day. But I didn't go too far until I encountered some frustration. And then, you know, God knew all about the, that, that before this day ever came about. And uh, he saw me through it. I survived what little frustration I'm sure my frustration was minor compared to a lot of people's frustration today. But God knew on this day that there were going to be some things that would frustrate me. God knew on this day that there were going to be some things that would uh, come across my pathway that, that I would wonder about. And a lot of those things that I wonder about have to do with people. You know, you see people and my dad told me a long time ago, he said, Charles, don't ever try to figure out why people do what they do. And, you know, I've found that to be excellent advice. You can scratch your head and you can wonder and worry about why people do what they do. And uh, who knows why they do what they do. God knew that we're going to meet up with some people that, uh, you know, don't exactly do as we approve or they don't do as we would like for them to do. They don't act the way we'd like for them to act. They don't think the way we'd like for them to think. And, oh, we get so aggravated with people sometimes, do we not? Now, I'm glad to say that the people in my life uh, offer little aggravation. There are times I get a little aggravated at someone and a little, uh, you know, wonder why did they do that. I've had a few church members in years gone by that have been a little bit difficult, but I guess I've been blessed in that they have been so few. But, uh, you know, whatever we encounter in people, however they may react toward us, however they may judge us, uh, whatever they may think about us, God knew that that's the way it was going to be before that occasion ever occurred. Whatever we have encountered in the way of frustration today, whatever we have encountered in the way of aggravation, God knew that it was going to happen before we were even born. And then too, you know, I think about the blessings that I've had. There's uh, just can't let a day go by without thanking God for his blessings. And God knew the ways that I was going to be blessed today. And I have been blessed and I thank God for every blessing, and I guess we need to be grateful for every aggravation and every frustration as well, because God ordered that. Uh, every day of our life was ordered before we were even born. Something to think about, isn't it? Well, let me have a prayer with you. Heavenly Father, thou dost know all about us. The psalmist indeed said, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And Lord, we are all individuals, and we know that we don't all act the same way. We don't all think the same way. Lord, we don't all look the same. And, 
And uh, yet we know, Lord, that thou dost love each one of us, and you did a good job on us, regardless of, of what we are. And uh, we just thank thee, Lord, that thou hast made us as we are, and we want to do our best amid the frustrations, the aggravations, and with the blessings of life, we want to do our best to live and to serve God and be a blessing to others. Go with us throughout another day of life. We ask it in Christ's holy name. Amen. Well, thanks again. We enjoy sharing with you today, and we'll see you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.